Hey guys, welcome back to We Watch the Movie. Mike here. This video was actually something we filmed a few weeks back during a live stream when we were covering the Nightstream Film Festival. Uh, this movie's called Anything for Jackson. I clipped out the review we did and I'm going to upload it today because the movie comes out today on Shutter, and it's actually uh, pretty dope. I think you guys will love this movie if you check it out. You will sing its praises as such we did. And... Um, if you guys tuned in last night, you know that we did a live stream. We did some Hellraiser news. We did some Mortal Kombat movie news. We did some Daredevil show news. We did some unboxings. We basically had uh, a couple days of wham in one big live stream, which in the in troubling times of COVID, that's what we're going we're to be doing for at least a few weeks. Uh, Monday, Wednesday, Friday night live streams. Friday night will be Friday night fights as always. But uh, 8 p.m. Mondays, 8 p.m. Wednesdays. For the most part, and keep up with our Instagram and our Twitter at We Watched a Movie and, and Facebook, We Watched a Movie fan page. Uh, we'll keep everybody updated on uh, nights that we're not going to have those shows or, or what we're going to be talking about. Plus, it's just a good time to get naked with the cheese whiz, like Beck said. He's like it crazy with the cheese whiz, didn't he? Damn it. Anyways, uh, yeah, make sure you guys check that out uh, and are prepared for the live streams. Click that subscribe button and that notification, notification bell so that you know when we're going to do live streams. And uh, as always... We love your fucking faces. Hope you guys enjoy this video, and I hope that you get naked tonight. Even if it's just with yourself. Just get naked and look at yourself. Maybe roast some peanut butter on it. Hey, guys. Welcome back to the We Watch a Movie podcast. Yeah. Podcast. Hey can you? They can't see us on a podcast, huh? It's a video podcast. Yes, it is. Okay. <laughs> it's a it's a podcast hyphen video cast. Technology. I think it's going to be big. The movie, uh, the first movie we're reviewing from, it's called uh, Anything for Jackson. Yep. And anything. It's not for a meat, It's not a meatloaf song, by the way. It's not a meatloaf song. <laughs> <laughs> I would do anything for Jackson. Um, but Alan I won't Jackson. do Bo. What you done Bo you Jackson. <laughs> I would do Bo Jackson. Maybe you get some of his super. I would do powers. anything for Bo. I wish Bo Jackson was still. God damn, what a talent! But yeah, <laughs> anything for Jackson. Anything for Jackson. <laughs> uh, yeah, guys, uh, watch this. Obviously, not even a trailer for it. I don't think that there's even a trailer for it. And it blew my underwear off. I was like, I got to get Jay to watch this. Did you get man. a skid mark in it. I got a big old skid mark. I got. I had. A, I had a skid mark after a couple of scenes. That's not. Gonna, that's. That, dude, there's a video that's going around where this cop in England got caught like hanging on upside down on a fence, and yeah, his, his pants came down. He's wearing tidy whities and there's a shit stain right in the oh, middle of his underwear. No. Dude. And people were filming it for like four minutes, and that's exactly how I felt at the end of this movie. Like I was like hanging upside down on a fence with a shit stain. <laughs> <laughs> and oh, your tidy I gotta watch that dude because I I love butt crack uh, butt skin. Dude, it was gonna, I felt bad for the cop because the one guy was like, "Don't help him, he's a cop." I was like, "Well, you can help the dude for God's sake. He's Jeez. losing consciousness and he's got fucking butt crack poop on on his, on his tidy whities." <laughs> but unless it was you funny, recognize dude. that cop being a dick to someone before, help the yeah. guy out. You don't know if he's yeah, a dude. Dick but or it not. was I could do. I was die laughing. It was like two minutes of just pure ecstasy. I could I would be doing this. Dude, he, the guy filming it got real close and went right to his crack with the duty. He was like, "What is that?" <laughs> <laughs> if he's relaxed enough so to, to not wipe his butt properly, then you know he's probably not that bad. Well, I know it looked wet, dude. It looked like <laughs> he fell off the fence and then shit his pants because he was scared. Oh, that makes sense. <laughs> that's what I would tell people because that's actually less embarrassing than just not proper wiping. Uh, yeah. I, I bet God, you know this is this such review. a great promotion for this movie. <laughs> Fuck wiping, dude. <laughs> Fuck yeah. Wiping. Uh, but yeah, but that's honestly, it's scary enough that it make you do to your pants. Yeah, it is. And it's funny, too. So so what the movie is, because I, I imagine most people don't know what this is uh, at all. But I think I think that you will. Because, again, what Nightstream is, is it's a bunch of these film festivals that came together. And since they couldn't do uh, their festivals because of COVID and all that shit, they came together and they're, they're doing this big thing online, which you can buy tickets and watch the movies as they premiere at the screening. So it's really, really cool. Uh, but anyways, this movie... I think it's going to be big. I think it's going to be picked up, whether it's going to be on Shutter or Netflix or whatever. Eventually, you all will see this movie. Uh, we will not spoil a thing, but uh, the, nope. the general plot is there's a doctor, an old, kind of an old man, a doctor and his wife, and they lost a son. Uh, and basically, they that want dude's to, not kind of old. He's like mummy old. He's yeah, like Grand Moff Tarkin from he, Star Wars. He's pretty old. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> he's pretty, my his head, head fell off. off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he was pretty old. Uh, Henry Walsh is the character's name. The actor's Julian Richings, uh, and him and his wife. God, this gnat will not go away. I feel like Mike Pitts. 
<laughs> I know. I was going to say, you got a fly fly on your head. I was going to stop talking. You'd be like, sorry, I felt like I had a fly on my hair. <laughs> what? But uh, so they, they lose their son uh, or their grandson, I think it was. Yeah, their grandson. They lose their grandson and they're all broken up about their tour up. Uh, but their idea is to, they, they start playing around in their grief. Uh, they start playing around with the the, the devil's juice, <laughs> and they start <laughs> touch that devil juice. They start they start getting into Satanism and stuff like that, and learning about it. And their their whole idea is to basically kidnap a pregnant woman, and then use this Satanist book that they got. I'll be, leave it all very vague to uh, do a spell to have her rebirth their child, uh, their grandchild mm-hmm. that they lost, to bring Jackson back. And and it's. The, it's so funny because they're actually like good nice people like when mm-hmm. the kidnapping starts she's like now honey i just want to let you know this is the situation we don't want to hurt you do you need some juice <laughs> like it's just awkward. yeah i think that's what it, it's like what what happens when your sweet old grandparents get a hold of the necronomicon and they're evil as fuck underneath <laughs> of it all it's kind of like the same thing i mean i felt like i was watching the visit like the visit the you know that the sweet old kindly grandparents and no. then uh like some kind of devil upside down crosses and the and the manager of hot topics recommending it to me that's in the movie but it, it, like it, it it felt all that combined into one but i i would classify it even though it's horror like it's 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 a horror movie for sure and it's got a lot of great scenes and a lot of great characters and they're all well fleshed out but i would almost almost put it into a black comedy territory a little bit of a black comedy I'm with you it's 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 weird it's the rare rare black comedy that is a black comedy it is funny but it's also actually legit scary like there is yeah. probably five scenes, I'd say five strong scenes in this movie where I was actually like, oh fuck, like scared, scared, Yeah, scared. well that's, that scene that you warned me about, which by the way, Mike was a good friend. He's like, dude, there's gonna be one that makes your wiener shake for three days. And it did, <laughs> at least for a good 24 hours, I was shaking, my wiener was shaking like a doorstop. And, it was just awful. And but it's dude, long, dude, it's I do, and I, I got so goddamn mad at it. I was like, is it fucking done yet? Are you stuck, <laughs> are you, have you finished? Have you finished your rant? If I had been that woman laying in there, I was like, can you just walk like a normal ghost and fucking bite my titty or whatever you're going to do? Can you please stop doing that shit? Because, dude, after a while, it just it, – like, dude, it's already enough. Like, you're, I'm scared. I'm fucking terrified. There's a bag over your head, and you're dead. And you got to walk like that? Good yeah, God. It was it literally it, – it, it's the combination of things that I hate the fucking worst. It was the spider walk from The Exorcist mixed with the herky-jerkiness of uh, The Ring Girl or Grudge Girl. I don't like that shit, Jim. Yeah. And, and, and you were right, dude. It's the, the cool thing about it, There's I, as far as what I could see in that particular scene, there was no special effects to make it move like that. That shit was pure contortionism. And those guys are freaky as hell. Like, I mean, I, it's impressive that you can do that, but you're not going to be invited to the barbecue anytime soon. That's for sure. Yeah, like Jay said, the biggest thing that scares him, that's why he's so scared of the grudge. He hates that. <laughs> yeah, I, know? I just don't like him. Well, and I knew when I saw this scene, because it fucked me up, like bad, like me. Yeah, I dude, fucked me rough. up. And I was going, oh, 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 put down the cheesy juice. Uh, I do not want this in the <laughs> house. Like, you said, like, you said, put down the cheesy bread. Me don't want it. <laughs> I was having a flashback to earlier when the girls were squirting, you know, their juice boxes all over the floor. Uh, but it, it, that one scene, dude, it, like you said, it's all, and you're probably wondering, like, I thought this was about old people who kidnap someone. What are you talking about? Obviously, when you play around in Satan's butt juice, things, things go happen. bad. Things go really bad, and you unleash some shit you didn't mean to unleash. Now, what's cool about this movie is they actually go really deep into that. They go really yeah. deep into how, how they concocted this plan, how they ended up with the materials that they needed to concoct this plan. The girl's great. I cannot remember the girl they cannot stand, but she, she, she does a great job. Both yeah. the parents are great. There's a side character who's just who just wants to like shovel their uh driveway who you that was a gnarly fucking scene though with that yeah, dude. dude yeah dude. i like that, that part he's like you're doing the right thing that's the kind of man that wants the last word no matter what and he's gonna go out with a bang <laughs> That's probably what both both presidential candidates wanted to do at the debate. Just I, yeah. Hey, look, if I were in a presidential debate, I had no fucking clue what I was going to say or what I was going to do to run the country. That's exactly what I'd say. Is, Fuck you, bitch. And then that'd be it. I win. I win. Why do you win? Because I win. 
But there, it, so yeah, uh, lay the whole thing out. It's really well shot. It's really well filmed. Really well acted. You like the characters, and like they're all like two sided. There's no like I'm a bad guy. Like even the people who are the fucking worst of the worst. Yeah. Kind of like the the weird little Satanist kid, dude. That's of, the one that looked like he looked. Did he not look like an ex manager at Hot Topics, and now he works at like Geico? No, dude. He looks like <laughs> Jason Berry. First off, he does. He does. I I, I noticed that too. He kind of looked like a, he kind of looked like a like a really nasty skinny version of Jackie or Haley. I could see that, but he also to me he looks like Ryan Reynolds had sex with the Shermanator from Apple Pie. I saw it in his eyes when yeah, he was dude. looking around. And I was like, this that... this is what yeah this is what would have happened to Ryan Reynolds if he had stayed behind, not acted, ate garbage juice, and got addicted to meth. Oh, you know like, why? That would have been... It's because it's because it's a Canadian movie. That's that's why. That's, oh, that's why. yeah. Uh, by the way, it, it also all Canadians he, have a tiny bit of Ryan Reynolds in them. A little bit, yeah. I think he just shared his sperm all over the country. But, also, you know, here's the thing. I think that um, he also reminded me a little bit of Willem from Clerks. I could see that. Or, or William, the yeah, one that my... just holds out of the sandwich to <laughs> Silent Bob while he's eating. The pussy, <laughs> the pussy demon. Yeah, that guy. Yeah. Uh, but, yeah. yeah. <clears throat> uh, we're getting off topic. But, man, overall, yeah, it was a really solid movie. I really enjoyed it. And, and you're right. There's no clear – cut archetype of a bad guy except for maybe one guy like clear cut he's fucking weird and there's problems with him there's already surface level issues going on with that dude and you were like daddy didn't love you enough did he so you already know that issue but the grandparents you know the kidnapped lady you all i mean even the grandparents who are obviously the the antagonists of the film you relate to them in some way because you're like well you know they suffered a real bad loss you know, and they're doing their, you know, they're doing, they're at their wits end. I mean, they seem like normal, nice people. And they just, you know, on Saturday evening, we got involved with this cult and they said something about, you know, conjuring up the devil and bringing back our grandson. So we went ahead and tried that. It was either that or crochet. We've already done crocheting. <laughs> yeah, dude. But it, it, it was, it's, it's funny. It's got legit five, six really scary scenes in it. That there's one scene that did a little bit too much. The, the, the you know what I'm talking about? Oh, yeah, I got bored of that. At first, though, it scared the fuck out of me because it comes out of nowhere. And the, and yeah, the movie but... surprises you. When it, when it comes with it scares, it comes hard and comes with the thunder. I, I believe, like you said, that guy's a contortionist. I don't think there's any CGI in the movie at no. all for the most part. It's all practical effects, and it's all, like, it's all very sudden, and it's all, like, almost every single scare they went for really fucking landed. Yeah, I, well, I, I've seen those people on, like, America's Got Talent and Britain's Got Talent, those contortionists and stuff, and I think that actually the girl that played in uh, either The Ring or The Grudge was actually a contortionist, and she showed how to do, like, you know, to bring the arms over and do the thing. It's freaky, like, freaky. It's freaky fucking freaky. Like, I couldn't even say the words. It's so scary, but, yeah, dude, like, they're double-jointed. It's all weird and nasty. You know, 100 years ago, they'd be in the freak show. Number one, number one in freak show in Kazakhstan, but not anymore. <laughs> but uh yeah but he, he did a great job and it was scary it was terrifying they they actually used that guy twice which it, it was effective both times yeah but but he came uh, back, yeah, the, i was like god damn it yeah the, the one the the you know the the scene with the gun and 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 the other you know after a while if i were in that house like all right yeah we get it okay go ahead and do your thing because <laughs> i, you have to I definitely expected somebody to say that be like would you stop did you see that part though when they put the salt down and she finally walks away she's like oh <laughs> like, <laughs> like I, I don't know if that was, yeah i don't know if that was supposed to be funny but like there's a there we can't tell you exactly what it is but there's a there's a, a ghost thing that happens over and over and over and over and over again and effective at first yes maybe a couple of times but if they put the salt down it like blocks the spirits and <laughs> it's that one scene when she walks in and she's like hmm and she like walks out like i wonder if there's any biscuits left in the cupboard <laughs> yeah she walks in to do her thing and then she's just like oh <laughs> that's too many laughs it's like when you're trying to go hang out with your older brothers or something like that and they finally shut the door and they say get out dweeb <laughs> <laughs> kind of man but yeah uh, dude honestly i th let me ask you this how popular do you think this is going to be like uh, like how big do you think the movie's i think it's going to blow up i don't know if it, well i hope it blows up I, I want as many people as possible to see it i guess it just depends on how they release it and what kind of advertisement goes into it i mean that's really going to be all i mean i think like it's cool for me when when movies get big by word of mouth versus just having like giant million dollar advertisements on tv because it's always yeah. then it's the part of the discovery you're like holy shit you got to check this out and everybody's talking about kind of like how it's not a movie but like tiger king everybody fucking started talking about tiger king and it yeah. blew up I, but I, I hope it, it does something like that but if this thing goes to netflix man which i'm not saying i'm rooting for netflix because you know i'm just saying like I, if it goes to netflix i think it has a chance uh to to really really be super popular obviously it's not going to go to theaters except for a few theaters because you know covid nothing's going to theaters yeah. i hope they don't hold it off for like two years and like really wait to release it i guess it depends on who buys it i don't know how that shit works with, with I, film festivals or whatnot but 
I would imagine I would imagine Netflix is the right route. And on top yeah. of that, they could probably release it limited on VOD. Maybe yeah. get a little extra coin or something like that. That's what I, I don't know. Me and Mike are stupid. We don't understand marketing or how you do stuff like that because we're just a small time little nothing channel. But on, that's what I would do. If I if I had the controlling, the first place I'm looking at is I'm looking at the highest or biggest streaming services available, which would be Netflix or Amazon. Yeah, uh, I'm, I'm looking up uh, the, the night stream right now to see if they have any show times left because I'm going to release this in the morning um, and see if I can find one. Anything for Jackson. Let's see here. Okay. Um, Come on, give daddy what he wants. Give me what, give I, me what want. I want and I'll go away. Precisely. Okay, Friday, October the 9th. You guys can buy tickets to watch this uh, for the screenings at 8.45, 7.45, and 5.45. I don't know what mountain, what time zone that's in, but if you do want to check it out, and I recommend that you do, uh, it's on there as well. So uh, it's going to be on, it, it, it is, those are like theater, like they can go to the theater? No, 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 they're on, like you can buy tickets to watch, oh. watch it online. At the film, dude. Festival. I imagine, imagine going to the movie theater and seeing this. That would have fucked people up. That would have been fun. I, and again, it's got you know what it has, kind of, dude. It kind of has a Sam Raimi feel to it. Not That's the way I'm, it's yeah. shot or anything like that, but where it's actually funny and it doesn't take itself too seriously. But then all of a sudden, they're like, "I'm fucking scary, bitch. I'm yeah, not a comedy." It, <laughs> yeah, it, it had Sam Raimi mixed with uh, the dude that did uh, uh, oh, fuck the, the Conjuring series. Oh, uh, James Wan. James Wan. If yeah. I felt some James Wan touches through it, well, not that. not not the Conjuring, but more of a Insidious, like a less like, po <clears throat> less poppy James. James Actually, Wan. that's exactly what it was. I was gonna say, yeah, it's like the Visit meets like Insidious. I mean, there it literally is like Insidious, especially when they I do that. the conversation about the baby and a portal opening up. It's just it, it. There's a lot of the furthering I felt was going on there. But anyway. It's a great ass movie. Uh, either it would have been great to see in the movie theater, or it would have been. I, I think they could still do it. Uh, put it in the drive-in where drive-ins are available. Yeah, yeah, that would be good too. This would be a fun drive-in movie to see. It would be a really fun drive-in movie to see. So anyway, anything for Jackson, guys. Link tonight streams below. Uh, go check it out. Again, they're not like paying us to say this or anything. I'm just legit telling you guys, you'll enjoy the fuck out of this movie.